Lavi Platon. We review Sam Beach Cumber RV Resort where we stay during the Lake Havasu trip. On today's episode, we're going to take a trip back in time down to the London Bridge where they check out classic cars. And then we're going to rent a boat, a pontoon boat, to sail across Lake Havasu as we go to Copper Canyon. The floating life is a reality today. <laughs> I'm Mark and this is Rebecca and we're out on Lake Havasu. Lake Arizona. Yeah. Before we get started, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah. You can leave a comment down below if you've been to Lake Havasu or if you like the boat. Yeah, so we are just strolling around the London Bridge area. Nothing like Havasu, huh? Always got some classic cars and hot rods and the shows here. This is by the London Bridge. In 1967, the Common Council of the City of London began to look for potential buyers for the London Bridge. Lake Havasu City founder and entrepreneur Robert McCollum placed the winning bid of 2.4 million on April 18, 1968. Each block was meticulously numbered before the bridge was disassembled. The blocks were then shipped overseas to the Panama Canal to California and trucked from Long Beach to Arizona. Following reconstruction of the London Bridge, Lake Havasu City rededicated it in a ceremony on October 10, 1971. Since then, it has constantly remained a favorite among Arizona attractions, drawing in visitors from around the globe. Captain Mark on the USS Minnow. <laughs> no, boat La Vie Flotante. Oh yeah, floating <laughs> life. Yeah. We were lucky enough to rent a fellow RVer's boat. Yeah. We're gonna rent it a half a day. Brand new pontoon boat. Okay, Gunny, come here. Hi, baby. Oh, good boy. Very nice. That's you. Yeah. So where are we going to try to go? We're going to go to that little sliver right there. That's Copper yeah. Canyon. Did you ready to go? It's better to bring your GPS. If there's no GPS on the boat, we are fully prepared. We want our own GPS. Where are you going? We are, we are heading to. I follow the line here. I follow the duck line here. Okay. Time I sell a boat. Yeah. I'm a little scared, I gotta admit right now. <laughs> now we are we are entering a narrow channel now. I think when we get up this point I'll take the boat over. Why? Because I don't want to hit shore. <laughs> I just don't want to have to pay for a new prop. <laughs> okay, Captain. <laughs> Permission to switch? Switch. Okay. All right. <laughs> so 
which captain? <laughs> Danny is the first mate. Oh. Huh? That is it right there. What? That's not for Danny. Oh, we missed it? Yeah, you didn't know? Hey, captain, how come we missed it? Because you the were channel. driving. No, it's you. It's you. We were driving and you missed it. I can't believe you missed it. You missed it. I can't believe you missed the channel. You missed it. Weren't you paying attention? You know where we are, Captain? I think this is Copper Canyon. Slowing down the wake, right? Slowing down, so there's no wake now? Yeah, uh -huh. no wake. No wake. Oh, it's really narrow now. Yeah. They're reading the bottom to see if there's any shallow spots. Pretty canyon. the Kenya here. Wow, oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we should go in here, right? Can we? I don't know if I want to go that far. Oh. You see something in the sky? Oh, right above us. Huge. Good ear. We're at Steamboat Cove. Eating our lunch. It's pretty Eating peaceful. We were first ones here. There was no one here. And now there's two other boats. Yeah, because now it's lunch But time. boy, I bet it's crowded when it's hot. <laughs> They've got buoys everywhere for channel markers mm -hmm. to get you in. So it's a nice place to stop for lunch, huh? Very nice. Yeah. miles of navigable waterways and no speed or size restrictions for boats. Lake Havasu offers possibilities for aquatic adventures 
as vast as the wide western sky. It's no wonder why it's well known as one of the premium vacation spots in Arizona for boating enthusiasts. With its proximity to Southern California, Las Vegas, and Phoenix, many boaters in the area have made Lake Havasu their preferred destination for a leisurely Arizona weekend getaway. People just can't wait to take it off, and it's gone in no time. Time to pack up and live in a paradise. Living like Havasu. With culture inspection station in Needles, a crossing border to California. It's a hatch of bee right now, set up for the night, halfway home. And as we roll through to the top of the mountain, and stayed at the loves we stay at a lot. The temperature is down to 45, and we've got clouds or fog rolling in. Coming up the hill, going west, the wind was really high right where it always is at the hatch of bee uh, base. Good morning. It's almost 8 o'clock. We've been driving since. Uh, Five o'clock. We're in California now on 46. And I wanted to show you this really beautiful new rest stop we have here. It's one of the premium free camp spots. A new place. Looks like a lot of people are taking advantage of. Got a beautiful scenery here. We got our campers and our camping tents. We got a nice rest stop area. Unusual for us, there's fog. Looks like they've actually had some rain in California, so got sister buses here too. See Rebecca waving. She's eating breakfast. <laughs> During our Lake Havasu trip, we took the Abbey Show, visited Oman, 
brought down Route 66 and had a blast on the Rubber Duck Safari Boat Tour. Check out the videos if you haven't watched it. Go to our website for more information of our Lake Havasu trip. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the little bell for getting notification for our next episode. Give us a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment below if you have any questions. You can also find us on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and Patreon. Stay tuned for seeing our next episode on Love You Fluton.